In 2015, Yu Hao left the aerospace industry with one goal, build what Dyson couldn't. Thus began his challenge to the iconic vacuum maker, the story of how an aerospace engineer became Dyson's greatest rival. Yu Hao studied computational fluid mechanics at Tsinghua University. He focused on airflow control for high-speed aircraft. The math was exact. A single mistake could cause failure. This was practical work tied to rocket propulsion. After graduation, he started Sky Workshop, a small hackerspace. It drew interest from Boeing, which invested in the team. The appeal was simple. They were solving problems others struggled with. They used computational fluid mechanics to design better motors with clear, testable results. Early aerospace projects taught him the value of strict tolerances and accurate airflow models. In that field, small errors led to failure. When systems run under extreme conditions, every component must be precise. He began to see parallels between aircraft turbines and vacuum motors. Both move large volumes of air. Both rely on high-speed rotation without failure. Both depend on precise airflow control. The difference? Turbines follow aerospace standards, while household motors use lower specs. Many engineers dismissed bringing aerospace precision to home appliances. They said costs would be too high and manufacturing too complex. They assumed customers wouldn't pay for it. He disagreed. Vacuum motors often run at 20,000 to 30,000 RPM with loose tolerances. Aircraft turbines run at far higher speeds with stable performance. The materials exist to build better motors. The software exists to optimize airflow. The factories exist to make precise parts. The goal was clear. Build a motor to aerospace standards at a consumer price. Use computational fluid mechanics to refine airflow. Apply tight tolerances. Deliver performance that makes current vacuum motors look outdated. Vision alone wasn't enough. Yu Hao still had to show that the market leader's approach had basic flaws. He set out to prove it. By 2015, Yu Hao was ready to make a clear claim. Dyson's motor tech could be surpassed. This was based on technical analysis, not hype. The data showed gaps others overlooked. Dyson led the premium vacuum market with its digital motors. The hyperdymion motor in the V15 detect spun at about 125,000 RPM. The company presented this as cutting edge and charged premium prices. Their cyclone system and bagless design changed the market, and customers trusted the brand. Yu Hao saw their strategy differently. Dyson built strong products through design first choice and iconic motors. He aimed to apply aerospace methods, computational fluid dynamics, and high-speed motor design in a more systematic way. Where Dyson optimized each product, he wanted a unified approach. His principle was simple. Being first should be a habit. He didn't want to race on the same track. He wanted to jump ahead. This led to Dream's plan for a power heart. One advanced motor platform for many products. Handheld vacuums, uprights, and robots, rather than separate motors for each. He focused on three aerospace-derived technologies. Number one. Magnetic levitation bearings to reduce friction and allow higher speeds. Number two, computational fluid dynamics to refine airflow throughout the system. Number three, advanced composite materials to handle extreme rotation while staying light. These methods were already used in aircraft engines, turbines, rockets, and other aerospace fields. The task was to adapt them for mass production at consumer cost. Prototypes showed the gap between theory and practice. The team reached 150,000 RPM using these methods, but costs were high. Maglev bearings required tight precision. High-performance materials raised unit cost. Yu Hao needed motors that met aerospace performance and could be built at scale. The goal was a 200,000 RPM motor that outperformed Dyson while staying cost-effective. Speed wasn't the only metric. Higher RPM could bring more airflow, stronger suction, and better cleaning. Dream's answer was a core strategy, one technology across many scenarios. Spreading the R&D over multiple products made the economics work while keeping high performance. To reach global scale, they also needed strong partners. By late 2017, 
Yu Hao faced a make-or-break choice for Dream. The team had aerospace-grade motor tech, but scaling prototypes to mass production needed resources they lacked. Precision motors required advanced production lines, strict quality control, and deep supplier ties. Building this alone would drain cash while rivals moved ahead. Joining Xiaomi's ecological chain offered instant access to manufacturing and supply. Xiaomi linked hundreds of partners that shared factories, engineering know-how, and distribution. For Dream, this meant the ability to produce at scale with stable quality. The trade-off was clear. Xiaomi's platform enabled fast iteration, reliable supply chains, and market reach, but it risked keeping Dream as a supplier brand, with limited control over its identity and direct customer relationships. Xiaomi had already built what Dream needed, long-term component suppliers, proven QC systems, testing labs, and global logistics. They had solved the hurdles that stopped many hardware startups. The benefits went beyond factories. Xiaomi's channels put products in front of customers quickly. Their marketing helped new launches gain traction. Their service network handled support. Yu Hao could focus on engineering while Xiaomi handled operations. During this phase, Dream refined its motors and built production capacity without typical startup constraints. Fast feedback from experienced engineers sped up design cycles. Supplier networks enabled rapid testing of materials and components. Most importantly, Dream proved its aerospace-inspired motors and real products. As the tech matured, tension grew. Yu Hao aimed to build an independent brand that could compete with global players. Xiaomi's model favored partners staying in defined niches under a shared umbrella. He saw uses beyond vacuums, robots, cleaning systems, and more. Staying in the ecosystem meant these would be Xiaomi products, not dreams. The same partnership that fueled early progress now limited long-term reach. In 2019, the choice became final. Remain a supplier with secure support or pursue independence and compete head-on. Yu Hao chose independence, betting that Dreams Tech could stand on its own. The bet worked. From 2020 onward, growth accelerated, with major funding by 2021. Dream emerged as one of the four little dragons in China's cleaning sector, challenging global brands on performance and price. Independence brought freedom to compete, and a true test of their technology. When Dream Z30 launched with a 310 air watts rating, the market took notice. Dyson's Gen 5 Detect was rated at 250 air watts. A 24% gap raised a clear question. How did Dream surpass Dyson's top model? The answer was Yu Hao's aerospace-driven motor design reaching maturity. The numbers across product lines show the shift. Air watts measured real cleaning power by combining airflow and suction. Dyson led for years. V15 Detect at 230 air watts. V12 Detect Slim at 150 air watts. Those figures supported premium prices. The Z30's 310 air watts versus the Gen 5 Detect's 250 air watts highlight where engineering matters. Dream reached mass production of 200,000 RPM motors by 2025, far above Dyson's 125,000 RPM in the V15. Dream also pushed product designs forward. The L40 Ultra's robotic flex arm cleans under furniture automatically. The Pro Leap retractable legs lift the robot over obstacles to keep cleaning. These features solve practical problems that Dyson's premium models do not address. The blue LED dust detection system meets Dyson's laser concept and adds connectivity. Both illuminate fine dust. Dream's system also feeds cleaning data to the app for progress tracking and performance feedback. Dyson's solution lacks that level of integration. Pricing widens the gap. The Z30 lists around $399 versus the Gen 5 Detect at $949. The L40 Ultra is $1,199, while offering features Dyson's robots don't match. This brings high performance to a broader audience. Brand perception is a remaining hurdle. Dyson has decades of trust, retail presence, warranties, and service that reassures buyers. Newer brands must earn that confidence over time. As Dream scaled, customer service issues grew. In the US, some repairs took months, 
shipping delays left buyers waiting for basic parts. Support teams struggled to resolve technical cases, adding to frustration. These problems clashed with the company's top-tier engineering image. The fast-paced work culture that drove innovation also took a toll. Accounts described mandatory overtime, weekend work, and strict performance targets. Output was high, but burnout affected quality and retention. Competitors accused Dream of hiring practices that cross lines. Some said new hires brought confidential information from previous employers. Legal disputes followed, and potential partnerships suffered. Despite this, Dream raised more funding and expanded overseas. Observers asked whether engineering wins alone could carry long-term leadership. Dyson's position relied not only on performance, but also on consistent service and earned trust. Dream rarely addressed the controversies, leaving questions open and critics to define the narrative. That silence suggested legal caution or a bet that produced results would outweigh operational faults. Yu Hao's plan is to turn Dream into a generalized robotics company, not just a vacuum maker. He describes a future where cleaning is invisible, an AI-driven system that handles routine chores without user input. Their vision guides expansion across many categories, all built on variants of the same aerospace-inspired motor platform. The scale shows in the funding. Imperium Venture, Dream's investment arm, raised $1.54 billion across two funds, about 11 billion yuan, to back AI and robotic startups. This is meant to build an ecosystem about computer vision, machine learning, and sensors that enable autonomous cleaning. The roadmap reflects a one-technology multi-scenario, strategy across 15 categories, Robot vacuums, hair dryers, leaf blowers, air purifiers, and large appliances share the core motor architecture first used in vacuums. The stair climbing X50 Ultra, shown at IFA 2025, shows how robotics can solve real home problems. It navigates multi-level homes, climbs stairs, and maps floors without help. These required sensors that detect stair geometry, motors that lift the unit, and navigation that keeps orientation during vertical movement. The Pool Vacuum Z1 applies the same motor principles to underwater cleaning. It uses high-speed performance while submerged. The computational fluid mechanics behind Dream's motors carries over to underwater propulsion and debris capture. Yu Hao's view of smart home centers on physical automation rather than voice control. Dream's robots would act based on usage patterns, occupancy, and environmental data. No commands needed. Moving into EVs and drones will test focus on service quality across very different fields. The company that struggled with support for vacuums now aims to build hypercars and manage complex robotic systems. Yu Hao's journey shows how advanced engineering can reach consumers, proving that aerospace-grade precision can be delivered at market prices.